Well, hello and good morning to you. It is Monday, the 20th of June, 2022. My name is Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market tower of Brackley, which is in Northamptonshire in the UK. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope everybody has had a nice weekend. It's Monday morning here, but obviously you may be watching on catch up here on Facebook or on replay. Um, and that could be any time of day or night. So whatever time it is with you, wherever you are in the world, um, welcome morning, Catherine. I've got my fingers crossed for you this morning for your delivery. I haven't, um, I'm tempted to just go and check now <laughs> to see. Poor Catherine, one of our lovely team members, has had some issues with a delivery. Um, UPS are being, uh, being a little bit painful. So um, my fingers are crossed that it arrives today. Okay, schedule for today, so hopefully. So thank you for joining me. Now, if you joined me on Thursday, I had a few issues with Facebook in that it started off okay. But as I continued the Facebook Live, I had audio, but the video completely froze. So it would have been more useful the other way around, to be honest. But there we go. So I thought I'd revisit the last section of Thursday's session which is doing a stamped one sheet wonder, or in our case, half sheet wonder, but using the baby wipe technique. And what that basically is, is you're using a cloth. It doesn't have to be a baby wipe. This is actually a um, surface wipe to create your own um, ink pad with your own combination of colours. So we have our... Stampin' Up ink refills, these are the in colours and all of our colour collection you can get refills for. You can buy them individually and basically what we're going to do is create our own ink pad with a mix of colours all jumbled up. Now you could also use our Stampin' Spots which are small one inch cubes and you can buy these uninked and create your own ink pad there, either with single colours if you've got the refills. You could have two colours or you could obviously have more, given that you've only got a small space to work with. The good thing about that is you can seal it up and obviously reuse it. And when you finish with that colour combination, you can literally just rinse it out if you want and re-ink it at a later date. But we're going to use the baby wipe technique and let us see just get my screen back so we can see what we're doing okay there we are hi katie hi jeanette good morning to you all right i'm going to put my phone just here on the right hand side so the first thing I'm going to do is create my um, little ink pad. So I've got a, as I say, this is a surface wipe. You want something that hasn't got too much texture. Although having said that, if you do have some texture built in, then you can add texture to your stamp, for example. So I'm going to use the same colours that I had on Thursday, but this time I'm going to ink up the flowers rather than the butterflies. And so I've opened this up and I've got just two layers here. And I'm going to use, I think, a little bit of sweet sorbet. So I'm going to add some drops of that. And this is because I want a multicoloured look. And let's add a little bit of Tahitian Tide, that lovely turquoise blue. I'm going to 
pop that in there like that. And I think what am I going to go for? That there, Orchid Oasis. So I've got th three sets of colours. Now this isn't a particularly soaking wet wipe and you want to make sure that the area you've got is as big as your largest stamp. I'm going to add a little bit of water. I've just got a dropper here with some water in because this particular pad is quite dry. And let's bring in a piece of scrap paper. Okay, so I'm just going to try this out first. So I've got some stamps ready. I just want to try it and see what it looks like before we start. So I'm just going to ink this up on here and transfer it and that will tell me whether I need more ink so I do need a bit more ink and a bit more water. Hi Sarah. There we go and so I'm just going to re-add this in. So the sweet sorbet is going obviously over this pinky red. It's a nice pinky red make a good sunset colour and where we were, where we are, it was a beautiful evening sky last night, absolutely stunning. Okay, and this one. Right. Let's see, now I've got a couple of flower stamps that I'm going to use. So let's see if this is better. That looks better. I can see the colour on it now. There we go. And let's have a look at this one. So obviously what you can do with this is have all of a particular colour. So you could have grades of um, pinks and reds, for example. Oh, that's interesting, Catherine. She says her sky was strange. Grey at the same time. There we go. That's really pretty. Okay, let's clean these off and do a little bit of creating. So I'm just going to do a half sheet wonder, which is what we're doing at Coffee and Card this afternoon in Toaster. And... Um, previously what we were doing for our half sheet wonder is imagining a line down the side and stamping a panel like so so that when you cut it down the middle you've got a whole section here I think what I'm going to do for this one is different I'm going to do a panel across the top so when you cut it you can either choose or I might do a top and bottom actually yeah I might do that Okay, let's grab a light colour and this is soft sea foam with a cat hair. That's a new one on you, isn't it? Okay. So I'm going to ink this up. Now this is very light and what I want to do is just add this in. So this is like a marble effect very light but it gives a good base for a one sheet wonder so if I lift that up hopefully you'll see that a little bit better like so this is from artistically inked okay now what I could have done is cut this paper down a little bit because this is the full width of the card and I know that I'm not going to use all of that width I'm going to cut it down but it will serve its purpose here I think 
So I'm just bringing this in a little because I know the edges are going to be trimmed off. Okay, so I've created a border top and bottom. Hope you can see that. And now I'm going to add in our flowers. So I think I'm going to use um, this one here, the one that's a bit like a, a bit like a poppy. Ink it up. And stamp it onto there. So obviously this is a bit of artistic license because I'm not sure you'd see many flowers in this combination but what I wanted to show you really was the technique of um, the baby wipe okay. this would have been good for a red white and blue challenge wouldn't it okay this one out of the way so I hope you can see that okay yes you can like so oops like so so if you can imagine this cut I've got a panel here and a panel here and my sentiment is going to go into the middle Let's just add a few here. Now, when you're inking this up, you want to keep it inking in roughly the same place because over time, these colours will deteriorate and you'll end up with um, with the colours leaching into each other. So at the bottom here, I can see this is going purple. Hi, Kay. I hope you're well. Okay, let's add this one. So I'm turning my flowers around as well. Like so. Okay. Let's clean that off. Okay, so now I've got the same colours in the individual ink pads so i'm going to use those to fill out the rest of the card so i've got parakeet party as my green um actually that's melon mambo that's not what i wanted i'll grab sweet sorbet in a minute um actually let's grab that now okay <laughs> poppy parade everything but So, I'm going to add some smaller flowers and some leaves. So let's pop some leaves in first. I hope you're well, Kay. So we've got this one here. This is really pretty. Actually, I might go for the single smaller leaf. So it's a bit more in keeping with our flower. So I'm just dotting this around. So when I'm cutting this in half, I can decide obviously which bits to trim off. Now what you could do if you wanted to is start this the size of your finished card so that you're not trimming anything off if you'd rather do that okay so adding these in so this green is parakeet party but you could obviously use any green you've got granny apple green is one of my favorites or pear pizzazz is another So adding these in. 
So this background that I did right at the beginning is disappearing, which is perfect. I just wanted it to give a little bit of texture to the back of the card before we were stamping. Okay, so remember to go off the edges, even though I know some of these are going to be cut off. And remember, you can also add details once you've cut it up. So I'm looking at this picture here. So I need some detail in the edges to fill those in. Okay, so let's do that. So I've got the little um, rosebud. So let's add that. And I'm just doing this one in sweet sorbet on this side. So pretty, this one. And again, this is from Artistically Inked, the same as the leaves. Oh, that's green. Let's move that out of the way. And I'm doing it to sort of join these up. Now you don't have to. You could keep these very separate if you wanted. But sometimes it feels much more natural to have them joining up as if they were climbing. Up a fence panel or something. So... You can have a look to see what it's looking like by taking a piece of paper, okay, covering the other half over, and that's our design. So bear in mind that we are going to trim some of this. And then I can decide whether I want this in landscape or whether it would look good in portrait with the sentiment going across there. And then you can do the same with this one. Have a look and decide whether you need to add more detail coming in or going out. I leave the sentiment until I finish this element of it. Because it may be that I rotate it round and change the layout for the sentiment. That's, um, that's just my choice, the way that I like to do that. Right, we've got some dots here. And we also got some dinky little flowers here, so I might use Orchid Oasis. So. And just add in some of these. okay and then finally I'm going to add some dots I think I'm going to do that in in the green so these dots are from Forever Fern, but if you've got any stamps with dots on, they'll do the job. And I'm just stamping off first, because I don't want these too detailed. Go. and it almost gives the air of, of movement somehow let's put a couple of those on the outside okay so let's cut this up and have a look and then we can fill in 
more detail and add our sentiment as needed. Clean that one off. And the dots off. And find a trimmer. So it looks like it'll be a lovely day here today. We had a very wet day on Saturday, a nice day yesterday, and then um, a warmer day today. So I'm going to cut this, I think, starting off at 10 and a half, which will be the full width of my finished card. And then I'm going to decide which elements of this I want to cut down. So the first thing I'm going to cut is this edge because there's not a huge amount of detail. And this is going to be nine and a half centimetres. So I'm taking a one centimetre block off the right hand side. Now you can keep that because you can use that to decorate the inside of the card. Oh, it's cold with you, Catherine, is it? And you, you were probably out walking Cracker Dawn this morning, were you? I expect <laughs> and I'm going to take half a centimeter off that side and half a centimeter so the easiest thing to do if you're not happy about measuring is just use the right hand track to take half a centimeter off I'm going to take a little bit more off that one okay so that's going to be our panel. So I may think that actually I want some more leaves in here. And I have the option whether to have that standing that way. Or that way is quite nice. I quite like that. Okay, but I'm going to add some more leaves. Let's do the same with this one. Morning, Lynn. I hope you're okay and um, got through the weekend. I know it's tough for you so there's another strip oh bless you still far too early in my line okay so let's take a little bit from this side and a little bit from here Right, so now what I'm going to do before I do any additions is I'm going to choose my background layer because that may determine, <coughs> excuse me, what extra bits and pieces I do with this. So let's take these little scraps out. So I've got a little bit of Tahitian tide showing, but not very much. So that's that background. I've got my Orchid Oasis. and parakeet party and sweet sorbet these are um, from the in colors for 2022 to 2024 right, let me take that out of the way for the minutes and then what i like to do is put them on the colors that are in the card before i make my decision so i've got this one here on sweet sorbet and these are going to go on to white cards. I've got the green of Parakeet Party. Let's lift this up because I appreciate you can't see that and it's that far away. And the purpley blue of Orchid Oasis. don't think there's much in it really let's have a look at this one so that's sweet sorbet I don't think I've got enough Tahitian Tide in there to draw that out let's have a look at that with parakeet party 
So that's quite nice. I might go with that that combination. And those are both going to go onto our thick basic white cards, like so. So now what I can do is add um, any detail that I want to. So if I've got any glaring gaps or something that doesn't look very balanced. So here I've got these three flowers in a line, which um, I need to either add another flower or I need to break it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is add some, um, add a leaf in here, I think, just to make that a little bit more broken up. Sorbet or orchid? Oh, what for the background cards? So let's take this off. Let's bring in my spare piece here. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to add a leaf in there. Thanks, Jeanette. Nice to see you. Thanks for popping by. Okay, and what I might do No, I think I'm going to leave that there, but I'm going to put some dots in that little gap there. Da, da, da. There's the dots. Like that. And then without stamping off, I'm going to fill there. So that sort of fills that in nicely. And then this bottom one, I'm quite happy with that. I've got a little bit of a gap here along the edge. So I think I'm just going to add full strength dots there. Okay. So that's going to be my first card. So you could, as I say, twist it round to see if that sits better. This seems to sit quite nicely like that for me. And then let's have a look at this. Actually... I might go with Catherine's suggestion of the sweet sorbet. Pick out more of that red. So again, I've got a few gaps in here. I'm not too worried about that. I might add a leaf or so in here and here. And I could add a stamped off leaf. So it's not quite as strong. so and maybe the same still full strength leaf up here and this is why i find single leaves are really useful because you can um you know they're easier to use for fill in whereas if you've got two you've got to think a little bit more about it okay let's just put this one in here like so There we go. And I might put a third flower in there. Okay, and then we're just going to add the sentiments. Let's stamp that off, maybe. Okay, yeah, so it's just slightly more subtle with it stamped off. So, sentiment wise, a great set for this technique is our go-to greetings because you've got the same greetings but in different sizes um, which makes it really useful because if you've got a small space to play with if you wanted it this way around you want quite a narrow um, sentiment so here we've got some quite big areas that we could use so i've got just a note thank you thinking of you and happy birthday I'm thinking probably just a note and I could turn this one the other way around so I've got the height at the top like so but 
but no, I'm not. <laughs> it just feels right that way round. Okay, so let's pop our just a note down. And these are quite forgiving, especially the swirly ones. I'm going to do this in Orchid Oasis. So let's just have a look. Sorry, my hand is right in front of you. out of the way so I can concentrate on one at a time like so my just a note and I'm going to do the same on this one oh I've got a bit carried away with my inking up there okay. I'd forgotten that I'd re-inked this Orchid Oasis stamp and I was thinking it was a bit light on ink but I hadn't I'd re-inked it So I didn't need that extra pressure. Okay, there we go. Right, let's tuck that away. And then just finish these cards off. So let's grab our two base layers here. Let's glue these together first. So your glue of choice, I've got some Tombow wet glue here, just going to slide that into position. And I know that by the size I've cut this, what size that margin would be, which makes it easier. Let's fold this over, so this is our thick basic white card it's what I use for all our white card bases so we have thick and standard but I call it thin and um, the thin one or the standard one is perfect for stamping onto it's got like a, um, a coating on it which takes the ink really well and then the thick one, slightly more fibrous, it's obviously a heavier weight. You can still stamp on it, but it's perfect for card bases or 3D cards. Okay, so that's that layer there. And let's do the same with this one. So I chose quite bold colours. Obviously, you can use... Um, subtles if you want for this technique so the main technique really was the baby wipe technique and then I've done this as a stamped in this case half sheet wonder I've used half a sheet and you can go back through the video um, last week from Wednesday which was the stamp one sheet wonder and the beginning of Thursday's one um, until up to the point at which it um, stops. Hi Glenda. Oh bless you Kerry, thank you. And you too Glenda. So I'm just wrapping up. So just making sure that's opening the right way. So, so what I have got are these strips that I that cut off the edges. So that one went there, and this one went there. So what you can do 
is not throw those away but use those on the inside of your card like so let's do that just a pretty insert and obviously you can stamp your sentiment so this is should be the same width as the card bar a millimetre <laughs> for some bizarre reason I'm just going to trim that very edge off like so that's my inside and I might as well do the same with this one like that so I hope you ladies from Australia had a good weekend I'm wishing you a good evening on Monday down a little bit just trim that off like so and then you could add some bling to this if you wanted you could add a little bit of ribbon it's entirely up to you depending on maybe who the recipient is so if it um was a lady you might want to add a little bit of bling to that it's entirely up to you you could use the coordinating dots that match these colors the sweet sorbet orchid oasis and parakeet party or you could just use a little bit of bling on there um, and that's it that's my finished project and i could obviously also decorate the envelopes so i still got my um, baby wipe here with the ink on it so I could add a little bit of water to that to reinvigorate it and then stamp the um, envelope try not to get too dirty with that um, and then I will throw this away because I'm not going to use it again but what you can do if you've got these is pop it into a bag or keep it in one of these um, plastic cases that we sell the stamp cases and then you can just reinvigorate with a little bit of water when you want to use it obviously over time it will it will dry out completely um, but there we go so I hope you like those if you want to see the original post um, have a look for Thursdays which will um, I'm going to trim that um, at the point before the point at which it stopped um, and then obviously I'll load up this one for today. So just a little bit of news. We have a free shipping day for us here in the UK tomorrow, 21st of June. Um, it actually starts at 11pm this evening. Um, technically it starts at midnight in Europe, which obviously for us is an hour ahead. So it starts at 11pm this evening to 11pm tomorrow evening. Um, I wouldn't order any later than half past 10. Technically, closing off time is 10.50. Um, so no later than half past 10 tomorrow evening. And that's free shipping on all orders over 60 UK pounds. And for demonstrators, that's your um, catalogue price, not the price that you actually pay. And we also have still... Uh, buy one get one half price on our kits and we have the last chance list which is the items that are retiring and they are at a reduced rate for example the flower that I've used today this one here comes from Bows and Blossoms and this is now half price at £9.50 with those um, six little stamps and three really nice sentiments and these are red rubber cling stamps so I will be emailing everybody on my list um, shortly with that information um, but I hope that 
um, you've enjoyed the brief session this morning and I look forward to crafting with you tomorrow so we'll be here at 7 p.m tomorrow that is Tuesday the 21st so there'll be a reminder obviously of our free shipping applies all day tomorrow so I hope um, if you wish you can take advantage of that and I look forward to crafting with you again tomorrow and if not tomorrow then really soon thank you so much for your support i hope you have a great morning afternoon or evening depending on what time you're watching thank you so much and take care bye for now